Hi guys, I'm just going to show you two exercises for hip mobility now. So again, very quick little exercise that you can do if you find that your hips are quite tense or tight. Um, we're going to start off just with what we call hip rolling um, from a kneeling position. Now, if you're not comfortable kneeling, put cushions underneath the knee at the front here or put a cushion behind the knee joint. Okay, that'll take away some of the tension. We start with the feet apart. You're going to take the hands to the ground behind you. We're going to lift the hips and all we're doing is rolling the hip bones out and around. So almost imagine you're doing a figure of eight. So we're going to start on this side, lift up and over, and then the opposite side, and just start to twist that. So it's like a little figure of eight rolling movement up and over, squeezing your buttock muscles as you go through this. And just maybe keep this going 20, 30 seconds. Okay, so if I show you from the front, so we lift, imagine you're drawing a circle up and over on either side and we're connecting them in the middle. So we're rolling around. Once you've gone up and over, so going out, we're gonna go the other way, yeah? Underneath and over the top, so think up and over. Just rolling it through. Squeezing your muscle muscles as you're rolling. Okay, and then our second one we're gonna do, nice little exercise. Keeping the feet, again, I'll show you this from a couple of angles, a good step apart. Relax the back, upper body's comfortable, left leg falls in, right leg falls out. We just pause for a moment, we lift up, we roll across. Like windscreen wipers, one leg's following the other one very slowly from left to right. Now if you notice I'm not planting my foot down here, if I try and plant my foot I end up twisting my ankle and the force goes into my knee. I want the movement to be coming up into the ball and socket of my hip, so I'm pivoting on the back of my heel, yeah, so my foot's very lightly resting. So all the movement then is going to be directed up into the actual hip joint, which is where we want it. So we're rolling left and right. Again, after you've done this, maybe 30 seconds, see if you can just change your foot in slightly, maybe bring the legs a little closer to you, and then go again. Or maybe step the feet a little further away, a little wider. Every slight adjustment of your base is going to have a different effect, is going to hit target a slightly different area. So it's worth kind of playing around. And then when you've gone left and right a few times, we're just going to hold it in one direction. Just hold the stretch. You can, if you feel you've got a little bit more to give, hold one hip back with one hand, trying to press a little further down with the other hand. So we're just encouraging that opening. Again, hold it for maybe 10, 20 seconds, and then we lift up, we let them fall across. So I'm just encouraging one leg to come a little bit further out. I'm trying to keep my opposite hip back, and I'm just letting my legs get heavy. But it's just a nice one again, anyone that does any cycling, horse riding, anything that just makes your hips feel tense and tight, you can just loosen them up a little bit. And you can always finish this one once you've done your rocking, maybe relaxing in your cobbler's pose allowing the hips to just open. We're just letting the legs flop away and letting them just fall out and apart. Okay, but it should just make you feel a little bit looser. Also great for runners, all that impact in the hips. Um, so that's your hip mobility. Thanks guys.